El Nino's impact on the continental United States has been limited thus far, but things are really starting to heat up, and that may be soon coming to an end as we head deeper into the month of November. Welcome back, you weather nerds. I'm your host, meteorologist Greg Majeski, and welcome back to the channel as we've got an update on El Nino, which is just getting cranking. And I tell you, the drought conditions across the southeast that have been expanding in recent weeks may soon be coming to an end. Let's take a look at previous El Nino years for comparison. The latest ocean temperatures anomalies chart showing El Nino continues to get stronger, running at about 1.5 degrees above normal there. Now, as comparison, the one back in 2015 at this time was roughly about 2.2 degrees. So the one back in 2015 was stronger, but as this El Nino continues to get warmer, its influence on the overall weather pattern will begin to change, and we'll see those influences in the weeks ahead. What you're looking at right now is the European model. I'm taking a look at the jet stream. That's that river of air very high in the atmosphere that kind of drives the weather systems across the country. And right now it's fairly flat. We've got a fairly zonal flow across the country. But as we go through time, that's going to begin to change. And I want you to watch this area down here off the Pacific coastline. This is where we're going to see things begin to change as we progress through time. So let me go ahead and step you through this right now as we go through uh, this upcoming week into Thursday. You've got a pretty good dip in the jet stream right there. Uh, we've got a piece of energy here kicking out of the west. And then you got another piece back up here that's going to be diving down toward the south. Uh, as we go through the next 10 days. So watch as we, again, watch as this goes through. Now another piece of energy coming down. Watch that area off the Pacific coast as that big trough digs in out toward the west. Nice bowling ball that's rolling down. And finally, for the first time, we're starting to see the influence of El Nino and the subtropical jet finally getting active here. You've seen this jet, jet energy through here and these pieces of energy that's diving off toward the south. So these are diving south. This kind of hooks up with this jet energy here, and this br brings in some of the Pacific moisture across into Texas and across the south. So areas that have been dealing with the drought conditions across the southeast will begin to see uh, wetter conditions and an overall wetter pattern. And now as this evolves going into November, also going to be watching for the potential for severe weather later in the month as the pattern becomes more active. Let's take a look at what we can expect with the rainfall amounts. Now, the European model showing what we can expect as far as total rainfall over the next 10 days. This takes us out to about November the 16th. Uh, kind of shows the evolution of where that moisture starts to stream in out of the Pacific and across parts of the United States. And areas of the Northwest are really going to get pounded up toward Washington and Oregon, uh, especially those active storm systems coming off the West Coast. So let's go ahead and step you through this very closely as we go through time. You've seen the rains there uh, coming here as we head over into the next couple of days with the, that rainfall across the Northwest. But look what's happening down here toward the South. You can clearly see the moisture tap coming in out of the Pacific. So you've seen the moisture kind of starting to flow this way for really for the first time in a, in a while. And I expect this pattern to continue uh, as we get uh, further into November and December, obviously with a strengthening El Nino having its influence on the amount of moisture that's coming into the United States. So again, as I continue to strip you through this again, you see in the rains across portions of Alabama and to Georgia, across Texas, areas where they need it. The heaviest rain will continue to be up across the Northwest. You see some very torrential rains here, even into Northern California as we're getting this going, but you're finally seeing that moisture across this part of the country uh, as we go through time. And as we go deeper into November, depending on where the dips in the jet stream kind of line up, I'll be watching for active weather potential here across the middle of the country, uh, potential there, as well as maybe even some nor'easters. Those are low pressures that develop in across the northeast as we go through time. So the tool I use for that is the North Atlantic Oscillation Forecast. So let's go take a look at the NAL. The North Atlantic Oscillation takes a look at the overall jet stream pattern across the country. And when it's in a negative phase, that jet stream means it's very active in the eastern portion of the United States and it's quieter on the west. When it's in a positive phase, that means that the active weather is out on the west and quiet in the east. So right now, as we go ahead and zoom in here a little bit, you can take a look and see that right now, it is the, all these forecast models. These are all these little squiggly lines that you see in here are all kind of all over the map. So the average trend is in a neutral position, which makes it a little bit of a forecasting challenge for us forecasters to see exactly what we can expect. This is going in past the 15th of November, later in the month, 
to see how this is going to evolve as far as the overall weather pattern. So what that means is you're going to need to keep tuning back in here as we watch closely to see if we see any major changes. Most of the fall, it's been in a negative pattern. So right now, it's, it's kind of neutral, which means it can kind of go either way. So every area across the country need to keep your guards up as we go later into the month of November. That's your update for now. Please do me a favor. I'm a new YouTuber here trying to build an audience. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like what you see and hit that notification tab, that way you can see when new content is generated. And I do appreciate you joining me here for your weather updates. You guys take it easy. We'll see you on the next report. See you later.